Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Kieran Glover and for those of you who might be new here, I'm a web designer uh, slash web developer working here in Cambodia. And I post videos on web design, web development and productivity here on YouTube. But today I'm going to be posting a video on how to get started organizing and taking notes with the awesome, awesome tool that is Notion. So let's get straight into the video. So first things first, I want to talk a little bit about what is Notion for those of you who might not have heard of it before. But it's actually really difficult to summarize what is Notion in one or two sentences. But for me, Notion is a really powerful note-taking app, but it has the power of a database. And that's how I kind of use it to organize all my different work stuff, uh, my video content creation, stuff like this. And then also even just for like uh, life stuff, like all my medical records and documents and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna show you now how to get started as an absolute beginner. And then afterwards, I'll go into a few more uh, examples on how I personally am using Notion to organize all my stuff. So let's get started. So initially, everyone starts with a workspace. And from within that workspace, you have a series of pages. As you can see, I have a few that I've already created before. Um, and then from here, you can simply add a page, either under your existing pages or add a page here at the bottom. I'm gonna add a page here. And then we get this brand new page that we've just created. And as you can see, we can add fun stuff like icons. It's pretty cool, it's a boxing glove. You can go in and change it. Uh, I'm gonna pick the brain for now. And then we can add fun stuff like cover photos. This will pull one uh, automatically. That looks kind of cool now, but we can also change that if we want. So for now, let's just add like a blue color, for example, or whatever we want. Yeah, that looks pretty nice for now. Keep things simple. Then we can give our page a title. I'm gonna call mine YouTube Video, Video Ideas. And as you can already begin to see, that Notion just makes it so, so fun and, and so delightful to create uh, your notes and keep things organized just with all this fun stuff like icons and uh, cover photos and all that stuff. And then another great feature is that within every page you have these options of either starting from a template, so that'll probably be for another video, or you can just type something here, hey, uh, let's do another video on Notion. That could be one of my uh, future video ideas. Then from here, we can simply right click on this and turn it into its own page. Oops, turn it into its own page. And then as you can see, we can click in and now we have another page that we've just created that's within our YouTube video ideas. So now we get this kind of idea and even from here, uh, we can write something like B-roll, B-roll uh, ideas. Then we can go right click again, turn into page. Oh, right click again and turn it into a page. And then we have another page within a page. So we've got a page within a page within a page. Um, yeah, and as you can see, that's just can be actually a really useful way of organizing different pieces of information. Um, and it's just really easy to navigate between them. But even we can add cool stuff like uh, breadcrumbs. So as you already saw, another really cool feature of Notion is that all these items that we can type in here, everything becomes its own content block, which we can drag and rearrange on the page how we want. And as you can probably imagine, this could be really handy if you have a page with lots of lots of different uh, sub pages and stuff like that. Um, so you can just reorganize things uh, however you may want. And then we can even turn this into other stuff. As you may have seen in this turn into menu, we have loads and loads of different options like text, headings, pages, to-dos, bullet lists, all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's turn this one into a call out, for example. As you can see, we get this nice little uh, call out box, which we can draw attention to a particularly important note or something like that. Then if we want, we could also turn this into, uh, let's see, like a code block, for example. So yeah, I set mine to HTML. So let's say I'm gonna be doing a tutorial or creating some technical documentation. I may want to uh, create a few um, code blocks or something like that. And then we can also do cool stuff like adding images. Um, and we can upload. Again, we have access to Unsplash. So we can just add another cool image here. Take a minute to load. Yeah, and then we can also, you know, even embed like uh, PDFs and stuff like that and videos and all sorts of stuff. Um, I think PDF, yeah, here, PDF. 
So we can choose a file or even if we have it linked on Google Drive or something, we can do that, forward slash video. Yeah, in Notion forward slash is always the way to access the different blocks, uh, the different content blocks. And yeah, you can just find a range of stuff uh, here um, when you do that as well. So as I mentioned at the start of the video, I use Notion for loads of different things, everything from taking quick notes on different topics, organizing my daily to-dos and work blocks, and even organizing my home stuff like my medical records and stuff like that. But for this final part of the video, I'm going to show you two different templates that I'm currently using a lot right now, and that is my reading list, and then the second is this topics forest here, which I'm trying to build and grow at the moment. But the first up is my reading list. And as I mentioned, this is a template. So if you want to create your own reading list, you can just go to add a page, select templates. And then in the education section here, you'll see that the fourth or fifth one down is the reading list. And you can just click on that and you'll have a reading list like the one I have right now here. And then the way I'm using it at the moment is that I have different types. So I have journals, articles, books, uh, I think there's podcasts and films that come with the template. And if I wanted to add a new item, I can just go down here to this new uh, type here. In this case, let's select podcast. And I'm going to type the Indie Hackers podcast, which I really like. Then we can even give it a status here. So we can say it's ready to start, or I'm currently listening to it, or I finished it. So in this case, I'm going to go ready to start. Then you can also add a rating. So as you can see, there's a couple of books that I finished recently and I gave them a star rating there. A bit more information, author. You can even link to a different to the link of the podcast or the book, for example, and then add a quick summary as well. And this is fully uh, customizable and it works a bit like uh, an Excel in this particular example, but it's even more powerful than just a regular Excel. Because as you can see here, like all things in Notion, it's essentially a page within a page. So all this stuff, let's pick on the four hour work week that I just finished recently. As you can see, as I hover over, I can open this as a page. And within this item, I even have some notes and reviews and all that. And then I have all these fields here that you see in the summary table. And we can add stuff in here and add media embeds and everything that I showed you in the little clip uh, before on just the basics of creating pages. Then you can also click on stuff like here. You have different views. If you want, I can just filter all books. And as you can see, that's gonna give me a nice grid of all the books uh, that I've tagged as books. So yeah, that's one example that I've been using a lot recently. I found really, really handy to just add a book that I want to read or currently reading and then take a few notes and reviews that I can then reference back when I'm writing a blog post and stuff like that. But yeah, let's move on now to talk a little bit about the topics forest, which I've just started at the moment and something that I'm gonna be working on in the next few days and weeks. So the topics forest template is something that I actually found from an Ali Abdal video with a guy called Valentin Perez. Uh, sorry if I butchered the name at all there, but uh, yeah, he's an entrepreneur um, and also just a general kind of uh, notion expert. And he did a really cool uh, interview uh, with Ali Abdal or Ali Abdal did a really cool interview with Valentin and they uh, showed this kind of topic forest template, which I thought is a really cool idea and a way that you can organize uh, all your best ideas, quotes, text, images, and stuff like that. Um, and then you can uh, break it down into different kind of topic areas or categories. And this is a publicly uh, available template on Valentin's public notion. So I'll link that in the description below, as well as the video that I found this on uh, in the first place, and you guys can check it out. But basically what I'm gonna be using this for is, yeah, just exactly what it says here, is when I'm reading an article online or reading a book and find some really cool quotes and images, um, around different topics. I'm basically gonna be uh, putting them inside here. Cool notes that I read from a book called Refactoring UI Design. And that's actually a real book uh, and a website that you guys can check out. And then from here, as we said, we can uh, turn it into a page, as you saw in the kind of introduction section. And then we can click into this page, give it an icon, give it the tree icon, and then here, we can just type in any kind of notes that we found or, or images. So in this particular uh, piece of inspiration, it might be cool to upload some uh, examples that I found particularly useful, you know, add content as we have been doing throughout this video, um, and even add breadcrumbs and stuff like that there. We have it nicely here. I already have one here. And yeah, I really hope to grow this kind of uh, forest template 
topics for us template so that I have a really nice uh, space for like referring back to when I have a new uh, website idea or a new video idea and then I have lots and lots of resources all kind of stored up there and as I think Valentin said in the video or on a blog post or something is it's really like building a digital brain so that you can always uh, refer back and find new and exciting ideas uh, that you've found thought this was a really really nice template and a really cool use case on how a uh, powerful and cool notion is just because it's so creative and so free to organize and create all these kind of different systems there so yeah definitely check out the topics forest template and also the reading list template that i'll put in the description below but yeah this is just a few uh, scratching the surface really of just a few ways that i've personally been using notion and then just also getting to grips with the basics so you guys can start exploring this amazing tool for yourself as well. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. I know it's a bit of a different format having me here talking to you uh, through the camera, but I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, enjoyed learning a bit about how I've been using Notion to organize my stuff and build my own kind of productivity system. Yeah, and also if you're new to using Notion, I hope you found it a really useful kind of intro on how to get started and a few of the little tips and tricks uh, on what you can do. But yeah, I really encourage you to check out the Notion website. There's a whole bunch of videos here on YouTube that you can check out to, to find out more. And then, yeah, I'm planning to post a few more videos here on YouTube all about Notion and different ways you can use it as well. So I hope that you'll tune in and watch those in the future. But yeah, please like this video and subscribe for more content like this and check out some of my other videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.